everyone welcome back to my channel this is going to be a very very weird tbr but i really wanted to get my february tbr out but we're gonna do it vlog style i guess so here's what i plan on reading in february i'm currently making my way through a song of ice and fire as you probably know i have 200 pages left of a storm of swords which is the third book in the series i am tripping over my words um, but I'm really enjoying it. It is a reread for me and I hope to finish it in the next couple of days before February starts, but with 200 pages left, I don't think I will. So more than likely this is getting carried over. Another book that I'm currently reading that is getting carried over is The Angel Maker by Alex North. I've previously read The Whisper Man and The Shadows by him and I really liked The Whisper Man. The Shadows was okay. This one is about a girl, Katie, who when she's about to graduate high school, she's got like everything going for her. She's excited for her future. Her younger brother is attacked by like a madman. And so years later, he's been dealing with this attack and like the repercussions of it. And he goes missing. So she goes to find him. And we are also following a detective who is investigating the death of a professor who it appears that he knew he was going to be murdered and he's murdered in a very gruesome way. I'm not very far into this one, but it's really promising. The prologue was so good and the first chapter was really good. I read a couple more chapters. I think it's I think it's going to be a really good one. It comes out February 28th, so of course, I will be reporting back. And I know I've mentioned in vlogs and other TBRs that I am rereading A Song of Ice and Fire and I am jumping back and forth between that series and the uh, Book of the Malazan, or Malazan, Book of the Fallen series, whatever. So book two is next for me. And what I do is I read a, a book from A uh, Song of Ice and Fire, and then I read a book from this. So once I finish A Storm of Swords, I've got this one. Um, from what I understand, I think we're getting whole new characters, whole new locations, and it's yeah it's like over 800 pages so this will probably be the only uh high fantasy big chunker that i get to in february since it's a shorter month and wow but i am really looking forward to getting back into this series and like reading a book that really makes me work for it i talked about that when i um spoke about gardens of the moon it blanked for a second um, and how you're just like dropped into the series. There's not a lot of explanation. You figure things out as you go. And I really like that. And so I'm looking forward to this one. And then I also plan on reading the Pyramid Book Club selection for February. I will have their book club linked down below. I participate when they're reading a book that I'm interested in. So I'll be reading All the Dangerous Things by Stacey Willingham. This has pretty high rating on Goodreads already. It just came out in January and I have an advanced listening copy from Libro FM. And this is about a woman whose son goes missing or is kidnapped from his crib in the middle of the night. And then I think she teams up with a true crime podcaster or maybe she like gets interviewed by one and she is doing it to like try to find her son. But I, I wonder if the podcaster really if their intentions are good so um yeah it, it sounds really good that's all i want to know about it i'm really looking forward to um having a mystery like thriller to listen to i'm finding that um i'm really turning towards that genre in between my big chunky fantasy novels because there's not a lot of world building and characters like it's just like you're along for the ride and it's a lot of fun which is Probably why I really am excited about the Angel Maker as well. But again, I'll have their book club linked below. And then for my book club, Horror in 24, we are reading Your House is on Fire, Your Children All Gone by Stephen Kaisby. I hype this book up so much. It's one of my favorite books of all time. So I'm really, really nervous <laughs> uh, because I always get nervous when I hype up books. But like I said, one of my favorite books of all time. This will be my third time reading it and I'm really excited to have a discussion with everyone. This is set in a small town that's like rampant with superstitions and we're following a few young kids. It's kind of coming of age and they play pranks on each other and the pranks get darker and darker and lots of trigger warnings and lots of disturbing things in this book, but I love it. So I think that's it. Relatively quick 
short video. I would just, like I said, wanted to get a TBR out there and I've been having a hell of a time finding time to film anything. So let me know if you've read any of these. Let me know what you're reading in February. And again, if you want to join in any of the read-alongs, book clubs, everything's linked down below and I will see you in the next video.